In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for BaNO3 2 plus Al2 SO4 3. This is barium nitrate and this is aluminum sulfate. With net ionic equations, the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. So I can see there are two aluminum atoms here, just one here. So I'll put a two in front of the aluminum nitrate. Now I have two times three. That gives me six of these nitrate ions. I only have two over here. I'll put a three here. So I have six nitrates here now. That's balanced, three bariums. Put a three here. And then I have three sulfates here, but I have three times this one, three sulfates there. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the states for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. So we put AQ since that'll dissolve and dissociate. Sulfates, very soluble as well, with just a few exceptions. One of the exceptions that you need to remember, barium sulfate is insoluble. So we write an S since it won't dissolve, it's a solid. When these two substances react, we get this solid falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. This is a precipitation reaction. And then we said nitrates, very soluble, AQ. Once we have the states, we can split up the strong electrolytes into their ions, and we'll get the complete ionic equation. Barium's in group two on the periodic table. It'll be two plus the whole nitrate ion, always one minus, good one to remember. So three barium ions, and I won't write the states now. Let's do that at the end. Plus three times two is six nitrate ions. We have aluminum in group 13, has a three plus ionic charge, the whole sulfate, two minus. So we have two aluminum ions, the Al three plus, plus we have three sulfate ions. So these are the reactants for our complete ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids up, so we'll have three BaSO4, and then we said aluminum was three plus the nitrate one minus, so two aluminum ions, just like in the reactants, plus two times three, so six of these nitrate ions, put them down here. And this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. In the reactants, I can see six nitrate ions right here in the reactants and in the products. So I'm gonna cross those out, they're spectator ions. I have two aluminum ions here and again in the products. Those are spectator ions as well. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for barium nitrate plus aluminum sulfate. I'll clean it up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for BaNO3 2 plus Al2SO4 3. One thing we can do though, we have three as our coefficient in front of each term here. We can just get rid of those, have those as one, although we don't write the one. So that looks a little bit better. You'll note too, we have a two plus and a two minus, they balance out net charge of zero. In the products, this is neutral, so net charge of zero. So the charge is conserved, the atoms they balance out as well. This is Dr. V with the balanced net ionic equation for barium nitrate plus aluminum sulfate. Thanks for watching.